And welcome back to Breakfast Television. We have Dr. Karen Gordon here talking about uh, bullying and teasing with the kids. A lot of headlines sort of getting taken over for the right. for the kid world with bullying. It yep. seems like it's out there much more. Cyberbullying is another thing, and it's a little bit different than when you and I were kids, right? Absolutely. So, so excited to kick off National Bullying Week here on Breakfast Television. So, I'll, I will be speaking to hundreds and hundreds of students across uh, the GTA actually this week, thanks Fantastic. to Pizza Pizza. You know, this is one of those, those topics that I really believe the solution really on bullying has to be all of us working together. It has to be parents, educators, um, you know, school boards, but also companies. Like, I really believe that companies, that, that there's a corporate responsibility in this topic as well for companies to really invest. So, really excited to be working with Pizza Pizza on this, this topic. So, so tip number one that I really want to uh, emphasize for parents listening is that there's a big difference between bullying and teasing. Yeah, because teasing for, I think for at least young yes. kids or yes. males, yes. Uh, boys, that's part of the social construct, I it believe. It is. And part of the problem with this whole topic, and I'm so excited that bullying is getting the attention that it needs, but part of the backlash that a lot of parents are, are, are um, thinking about it, and, and rightfully so, is that we're almost making this generation too soft, that parents are actually stepping in and trying to solve everything. Like, so there's a little squabble and all of a sudden parents are actually getting involved. So it's very, very important for parents to differentiate between bullying and teasing. Mm -hmm. So bullying is when there's actually a power imbalance. So a child is older, there's more of them, they're using a weapon, there's a threat, there's actually something that's actually, it's, it's happening more frequently. Bully or teasing is when it's actually a child that's basically it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's actually mm -hmm. the same, the same age group. So it's very, very important that parents differentiate between bullying and teasing because what uh, the response that I would actually want parents to tell their children it's going to be different yeah the solution for bullying is different than the solution for teasing so very important actually to separate these two okay so how do the kids deal with teasing right because bullying you, you, there is an intervention point right. that needs to happen, yes. right? Yes, yes. So, so with teasing, the number one thing I want parents to realize is that when there's bullying, I want you to encourage your kids to actually involve a parent. When there's teasing, I don't want parents to get involved. This is very important. I want instead for parents to equip and empower their children to actually be their own advocate. Um, so when I'm actually speaking in the schools this week, that's the message I'm going to be speaking to students on how do you actually deal with conflict effectively? Mm -hmm. What are the proper tools that you actually need to be doing? And so part of it also not only is actually teaching Teaching kids conflict resolution skills, but also teaching kids the importance about actually having uh, one at least one healthy friend. Because research tells us that in terms of um, almost insulating yourself from being bullied um, is is a lot of different skills. Um, but one of them actually is making sure that you have at least one really good friend. So we're actually doing a contest called the Great Friend Contest. Nice. Um, it's going to be for all the students. We're going to be actually having some of the winners here on BT next week. Oh, fantastic! And people can actually go to uh, our website as well and actually participate as well. So you can go to uh, pizzapizza.ca forward slash anti. -bullying. How can you easily identify the difference between teasing and bullying? You have to look if you're at on the outside of it. Uh, basically, you have to get the information because if you don't have all the information in front of you, parents will not be able to properly assess. So the, the, the key difference is power. If there's a power imbalance, like I said with bullying, there's going to be a child that's going to be older, there's going to be more of them, there's a threat, there's, um, it's happening frequently. So if, you're, if any of those are happening, you want to encourage your kids to actually involve a parent. And not only if your child is actually being bullied, but your child might be a bystander. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they say stats-wise about 80 to 90 percent of our children will see bullying happening at some point during their school career. Okay. So it's very important that we are encouraging our children, if they see it, they're also responsible to actually be involving an adult as well. And you have more information on the website as well. Correct. You can track yes. down all the stuff about yes. uh, anti-bullying week. Uh, the website is dkleadership.org for more information on tips and sort of interactive activities. Go to pizzapizza.ca slash anti-bullying. Thanks Great. for Thank joining us so this much. morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back on BT.